A Medal of Honor recipient begins his new role as a full-time radio talk show host on WBEN next week, taking over for Sandy Beach, who wrapped up his 60-year broadcast career yesterday. Dave McKinley reports on the long and winding road taken by David Bellavia. He set out to be a dentist. Pre-med, biochem. Until one fateful day. I had a home invasion. I had these two guys break into the house. And I didn't do any of the things that I thought I should have done. I, I should have confronted. I should have stood up. I should have defended my family. As there may be no better place to learn to fight back than in the Army, he enlisted. And he loved it. I've never felt more comfortable in my life than in that environment. Even the horrible parts like the events in Fallujah that led to his receiving the Medal of Honor. The adrenaline is amazing to feel that, but at the other side of it is there's a sense of purpose in everything you do. He thought about making a career of soldiering, but there was a wife and a young child at home. And I missed three years. Um, the first three years of this kid's life. Returning to Western New York, but still with fighting in his bones, he turned next to politics figuring. That's the next arena that you, the gladiators go into. And I get into politics and I realize these are the biggest cowards I've ever met in my life. He founded the group That's for Freedom, which worked at getting combat veterans to run for office. Uh, we've got three guys in Congress right now that were Vets for Freedom members. He too ran for Congress without success, but his writing was. His best-selling memoir led to an appearance on the G. Gordon Liddy Show. Then a misfortune, not for him, but for Liddy. He had a stomach issue while I was doing his show. <laughs> And he, he um, G. Gordon Liddy walked off and just said, hey, kid, you know, do 20 minutes. And I did. And he was really complimentary. Similarly impressed was Rochester talk show host Bob Lonsbury. And he said, hey, I'm leaving for the weekend. Why don't you do a show? And that led into his permanent fill-in. Which caught the ear of programmers at WBEN. And I just started, you know, filling in here. Shuttling back and forth while living between the two cities where, oh, by the way. I got a job at a, at a milk plant in Elma. While coming to realize. I'm not a subject matter expert in many things, but I'm very good at confrontation. And I'm very good at confronting without being threatening. And it's ironic that you say that when people know you for, you know, being in a combat situation. Reveille is Monday at 0900. I can't do anything similar to Sandy Beach because I'll never be able to do it as well as Sandy Beach. Right. So I'm going in a complete opposite direction and I'm having only people that disagree with me on my program. For the discussions he thinks the community needs to have in a manner he believes they should. There's a way that you can be contentious and passionate without being disrespectful. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.